Hello, my loves. Welcome to my channel, Divine True Tarot. I am your reader, Anetta, and we are going to tap into the energies of. Well, let's see who Spirit has for us. Let's see who we gonna who we gonna read for. Booyah! Let's take this one. Booyah! Aries, you are up. Yes, you are. Fire sign, fire sign, fire sign. Let's see what's going on with my Aries right now. Okay. All right. Holy Spirit, holy angels. What are the leading energies of my Aries in the current moment? What are the leading energies of my Aries in the current moment? Please and thank you. Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, thank you for allowing me to channel messages from the divine through the tool of tarot for the highest good good for the collective of my Aries. I pray that you will bring them peace, love, and light into their lives, their situation, their spirit, and their souls, mind and body. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for the protection of the Most High God through my angels in my spirit, guys. I pray that you protect us, keep us humble, safe, and whole. In the name of Jesus, I love and I praise you and I thank you. Amen. That's rock and roll, Aries. Holy Spirit, holy angels. What are the leading energies of my Aries? What are the leading energies of my Aries? Yes. Phil. Let's see. It's feel satisfying. I don't know. I feel the satisfied energy that came on through. Okay, but let's see. That's way too many, Holy Spirit. Okay, cut and pull. Okay. One more. Okay. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Okay. We <laughs> These two want to come out. We're going to look at them, but we're not going to take them. But when they flop out like that, I got to see what that is. We're going to be nosy and we're going to see what that is. But your leading energy is Aries. Your leading energies. Let's see. Your leading energies are Seek. This is the hermit energy, Virgo energy. So you could have Virgo in your chart or you could be dealing with a Virgo. Beautiful. Seeking you will find self-salvation. Okay. Some of you guys are expecting some type of message or messages to come to you. You're waiting on a phone call, something of the sort, or a text. This is for some, not all. But let's see. Awaiting results. You're waiting. You see what I'm saying? You're waiting on some type of text call result. Yeah, you are. And then we have believe and succeed. Okay. So yeah, you're waiting. You're waiting to receive some receive some type of results. Okay. It could be test results. It could be an answer that you're seeking. Okay. But this hermit energy is some type of answers that you're seeking within yourself. This is for some of you guys. Okay. All right. Let's at the bottom. Coming together. Yes. Kinder spirits is what I'm hearing. Yes. Kinder spirits is what I'm hearing. But let me tell you something. We have simply love that's in the reverse behind uh, 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 coming together. So, it's making me feel as though for some of you guys, you're waiting for somebody to contact you, somebody to send you some type of clone call or message here. That is not too easy. <laughs> Your 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 relationship situation ship it has not been easy. Simply love is in the reverse, so this is difficulties, either receiving or giving love here, especially coming together with somebody that you're waiting for. Okay, this is for some. This is the main energy that I'm getting. Okay, but let's see, let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the supporting energy of the leading energies for my Aries? What is the supporting energy? Of the leading energy from my Aries. Aries, you could be a sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, and Jupiter. If you have Aries in this chart, then there might be some messages in this reading just for you, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Or it could be Virgo, okay? You could have a moon in Virgo is what I'm hearing. Hey. Hey. I like earth and um, fire. I mean, even though that's a destructive energy, I mean, them two come together, they, you know, they could, they, it could be some type of um, chaotic energy when they come together, but I like it. I like it because creation came out of chaos, okay? So it's a, 
it's the energy of redefining oneself, recreating yourself, re reconstructing yourself. Okay, this is for some. Let's roll. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What is the supporting energy of the leading energies for my Aries? It's a fast energy here. You fast? You moving fast? You want something to move fast? You want some type of communication? Some type of phone call, text to come in fast? Right, right now, right now? You tired of waiting? You tired of looking? This is for some. This is the energy I'm getting. Okay. All right. They said cut and pull. Cut and pull. Okay. One more. Okay. Let's cut and pull. Oh, you got some jumpers. Yeah, let's cut and pull. They keep saying cut and pull. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to cut and we're going to pull. What is the supporting energy for the leading energy for my Virgos? We have the Knight of Michael. Uh -huh. Waiting on that information, that communication, that phone call, that text. You see what I'm saying? This is supporting that seeking energy. You waiting for somebody to reach out and contact you for something and it says time to move quickly choose logic over emotions sudden changes is here yeah that's my communication card the knight of michael is a fast moving energy like i said moving fast moving fast you want something to move fast you want something to to come about fast you want you want it to happen now energy here and this my knight of michael oh yeah this is a fast ass moving energy you're fast you want something to happen fast you want something to come into you fast. See what I'm saying? Waiting on them results. Could be waiting on pregnancy results, test results. It's time to move quickly. We have the Knight of Michael and the Hermit here. These are oxymoronic energies here. Oh, I heard you, Spirit. Okay, I see why. You want something to happen fast, but you got to sit your ass down and get some more information here. This is why you, like, open your arms up to God. Like, why? What? What I got to do? I got to go. I got to go. Why I got to sit here? What? 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 Yep. That's that awaiting results here. Uh-huh. Awaiting those results. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, You got to know now. And it's okay. Just a little anxious. Anxiety is here. Yes. Look at Here we have change your life. This is the tower energy, but I'm going to tell you something, baby. This tower energy represented in this deck is change your life. Okay. So there is something that is going to happen for you or to you. Dog barks don't lie. That is going to happen all of a sudden. It's a powerful realization that something got to change. Some type of information came in. Something of the sort. That will um, reconstruct you. You see what I'm saying? Baby. Baby. Hey. Yo. Hey. Hey. Hold on. Quit barking at the neighbors, baby. They don't care about you barking. They don't care. You're not going to do nothing. You're not going to do not one thing, okay? Leave them, leave, leave them babies alone. <laughs> I mean, she going off because they came in the house, okay? But it says a sudden revelation that offers freedom. Break away from procrastination. Embrace the opportunities that bring change. You see what I'm saying? That's that, that anxiety energy. Like, I got to do it now. 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 Could have been sitting on something, waiting on something here. Like I said, waiting results. Now it's time to move. Or you want this results or the end result to happen now. Sit down, Aries. <laughs> it's all right. Sit down. You got to wait on divine timing here. Uh-huh. You got to wait on divine timing. You cannot rush Father God. He ain't going to move on your time. He ain't even bound by time, okay? This is you waiting results. The results are already there. You just waiting on them to come into you. You see what I'm saying? So it's like the answer is already there. The answer that you seek is already there within yourself. Because like I said, this is hermit energy, baby. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Calm your little nerves down. Look, tower at the bottom of the deck. Ooh. Woo! Look, here we have magician popping out. Pisces Aries energy. There you go. And then we have the world at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you're waiting for something to change. You're waiting for something to happen. You're waiting for something to kick in so you can go. You can do. It's it's a uh Sit down. Shit. It's coming. 
Okay, whatever you're manifesting, whatever you're creating, like I said, it's a creation energy here. Whatever you manifesting or whatever you're creating, it's going to take time. It's going to take time to manifest. It's going to take time to unfold. You need to sit down. Sit down and wait. Wait on things to work out in the background, okay? Spirit is click clacking shit in the background. Wait. Wait on the Lord is what I'm hearing. Jesus Christ. Ooh, you're so impatient, Aries. It's okay. I'm not actually it's not okay. You just need to sit your butt down, baby, because there ain't no more you could do. That's why you sitting around waiting for results here. Mm. Okay, holy spirit, holy angels. What else can you tell me? For my Aries. Thank you. Okay, we got two. Ooh. What we have? The Ace of Wands, something exciting and new. Ooh. That's why you anxious. Then what we have? The Sun, Leo energy. Okay, it could be dealing with a Leo, but this is truth and clarity. You're going to have the peace of mind. You're going to you're gonna find the answers that you seek first off. And then you, this is a yes. Ooh, I heard yes. Don't, Garnie, you have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I can't make this shit up. It's a yes. Whatever it is you're waiting on. It's a yes, it's happening. Yes, it's coming. Yes, it's yours. Yes, it's here. Just got to wait for it to unfold. Whew. And that's the excitement here with this Ace of Wands. Boo, yeah. That's the passion right there. I love the Ace of Wands energy. That's a passion. It's passion. It's, it's the energy of passionate new beginnings, especially with this um, magician here. So this is what you're creating. This is what you cannot wait to manifest or wait to unfold because it's exciting. It's new. It's, 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 it got the sun energy right next to it. So, hey, okay, amen. It, it's, it's like it's here. It's like you can taste it. You want it now, but you just have to wait on the process. Baby, go lay down. Go lay down. Thank you, mama. Yes, so you know, it's um, it's exciting. It's it's exciting. It's here. It's here. It's a new endeavor. It's a new opportunity here that you created. Okay, it's like the fruits of your labor is now coming into fruition here. Okay, it's like a new you. This could be the birth of a new you. Love it. Mm. Mm. Let's see. Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What else can you tell me? This is also too. It could be a Leo. Somebody's trying to manifest a new passionate beginning with you. But you and your hermit energy like hell no, fuck no. Because I'm trying to find myself. I'm going inside myself to find myself here. Yes. Uh-huh. This is for some. Mm -hmm. But it's like you you manifesting your heart's desires here. Yes, and you have fire and passion and, and excitement and ignition. Okay? You got the keys to the ignition. Some of you guys can be getting a car, to, car today, this week. You got the keys to the ignition. Okay? To spit, to spark, to spark it, to, to spark that get up and go. Within yourself, within something, a project, or a car. Let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. But I'm getting a car energy. A lot of you guys could be getting a new car or looking into a new car. It is tax season. I mean, I'm just going to put that out there. Damn, the ace of cups. Woo, baby. You, I am seen a three aces. And then we have temperance at the bottom of the deck. Sagittarius energy. Ooh, you got new passion and love that's going to make you ultimately happy that you manifest. This is for some. This is a new love. It could be a new love of self because with this Ace of Cups, let me tell you, this is all around love. This is a God pay love is what I'm getting. This is love from another, love to another, or self-love. This Ace of Cups is abundant and very vast in its energies of love. Okay? Somebody have their eye on you too. Or this is your most high God looking at all this love that you're pouring out into yourself. I'm just saying. They watching you. Ah, uh, shit. You watching it. Okay, the God in you seek. I'm telling you, that's that hermit energy. Yeah. Yeah. 
So you guys could be seeking out your true love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What else can you tell me? The Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. This is a passionate new beginning in love is what I'm feeling. Could be with a, a, a Leo, Aries. What do we have? We have the Seven of Pentacles, Earth Energy. And then we have the world energy come flipping out here. So wrapping up cycles, lessons being learned. And then we have the five of swords. Okay. And then we have the nine of pentacles. Okay. All right. What I'm getting is you had to, you really had to fight to get in the position that you are in because there was a lot of uh, people trying to hold you down, hold you back. Um, there was a lot of people that was jealous of you because of the places that you're going, the changes that you made in your life here. There's jealousy. I'm getting a heavy jealousy energy off of this. And the reason why I say heavy jealousy is because it's sitting right up under the Ace of Wands, okay? People are jealous of your spark, your passion, your new beginnings, your new desires here, okay? This is also to somebody that want to take you down and take you out here. And I'm going to mean by take you out, I mean taking your opportunities that you have before you, the opportunities that you created for yourself. They want that gone. That's for some. For others, this is you fighting. Fighting to win your battles, especially mentally. Okay? Because, baby, you don't close out cycles with people, places, and things that no longer serve you here. Okay? These people are jealous and mad that you closed this cycle out. It's because you had to... You had to clear your energies. You had to get away. You had to change. You had to change your environment. You had to change your friend circle. Some of you guys had to change your job because let me tell you, with the world energy, this is a transformative energy. This is a change energy. This is the end of that difficult cycle, that end of that journey, and you're starting a new journey here, but this has closed out or you need to close it out, okay? Sitting with this five of swords here next to the world is making me feel like you're hesitant or there is something that is preventing you from closing this cycle out or someone that is preventing you from closing this cycle out. Hence the reason why the hermit is your leading energies because you're going inside yourself to find yourself, okay? That's what I'm talking about. Hey, baby. All right. I'm almost done. Um, let's, let's get one more. Let's keep one. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What else can you tell me for Aries, please? Oh, we got flippers. Look, judgment. Oh, that's the Libra energy. Oh, shit. And then we have the Queen of Swords. Booyah, booyah, booyah. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You're closing out cycles. You made a, a precise judgment call on what it is that you want to close out, what you want to move forward from or move towards here. There's a lot of travel in this energies here, especially with the Queen of Swords and the judgment here. Yeah, you decided to move on from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. They pissed, they mad here, okay? But you made a judgment call here. For some of you guys, for some of you guys, um, somebody is trying to manifest you back here that you close the cycle out. But they want this passionate new beginning with you because they're jealous. They hurt. They 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 see what they've done or they see the missed opportunity that they have here. And now they want to come and reconcile because they finally understand what it is that they lost. But it's making me feel as though you cut that out anyway with this queen of swords energy so whoever's trying to come back around from the past or trying to manifest you from the past it's a hell no fuck no with this queen of swords energy right here you're not having it uh-uh sitting up under the ace of cups because you have self-love especially with this hermit energy baby this is what you sinking or sinking <laughs> this is has this is what you have sought out <laughs> it's self-love or true love here and it ain't nobody with no past person but i'm getting past energy okay I'm getting past energy because for one, this queen of swords is facing the past energies here. Okay. And you have a jealous person in your past energy here that's trying to manifest you back. But they they manifest, they want to manifest you back because they're jealous of the new beginnings that you have. Okay. After you close the cycle out with them. Now they jealous and shit. Okay. All right. Holy Spirit, holy angels. Let's get one more. Thank you. Uh, two more. Okay. That'll work. I appreciate it. <clears throat> bottom of the deck we have the two of, two of pentacles choices and options is here and the divine feminine Woo 
This is why they lost out because they juggled the divine feminine. Damn. This is why they trying to come back around and manifest you back into their life because they juggled the divine feminine or a divine feminine has a very serious choice that they have to make. Hence the reason why they in this hermit energy. This could be you, Aries. Okay. But what is this? We have two. What is this? The, the, the minor arcana of divine feminine, which is the nine of pentacles. You could take care of yourself. You could take care of everything that you want, need in life here. Uh-huh, that seven went to a nine here. I like that energy. That comes from this passionate new beginning that you have. Okay, it's, it's a spark. Like I said, it's a spark of something new. It's a spark of an idea. It's a spark of a new opportunity that you're very, very passionate about. And then we have the two of source energy here. You block this person out. Whoever or whatever that's coming into your energies or coming around you to try to, how should I say, confuse you, to try to take a piece of you, trying to get, what something that you've got to get what you got yes thank you spirit <laughs> yeah it's blocked out um or you don't see this coming yeah you don't see this coming for some of you guys you made some type of financial investments and now you're yielding a return on your investment but you don't see this coming it's like money coming out of the clear blue for you. Um, you don't know how, when, where, why you're getting this money, but it's here. Okay. And therefore you are able to have, you could, you able to manifest anything that you, that you want because you have this new abundance because you're going from the seven of pentacles to the nine of pentacles. This is like somebody who's retiring. Okay. This world energy here is the end of a cycle. So for some of you Aries, you could be retiring here and starting something new starting a new business um moving to a new home um some of you guys could start traveling the world you know um traveling and go see family friends loved ones here let's let's clarify let's clarify this five of um this five of swords because that's an out of place ass energy i don't and this this energy is up under the ace of wands which is you aries and and it's like somebody in the background is jealous of your your new beginnings here somebody could be jealous at the fact that you that you retire and you're able and free to do whatever it is that you want it could be something as simple as that but you you put in the work okay you you put in you invested in yourself are you invested into this opportunity to where you can retire in peace where you could change this job in peace change this relationship change this household something of the sort but let's clarify this five of swords holy spirit holy angels no that's too many baby no holy spirit holy angels thank you the nine of swords they up all night thinking about this stuff you have somebody that's that anxiety and that worry it's invading this is an invading energy. There is somebody outside of you, Aries, that is up at night and is jealous about your brand new beginnings here because you closed the cycle out with them and that was your final decision. They mad that now you're happy without them. Woo. That's that anxiety energy that I was that I, that I was picking up on. And, it, it, and like I said, this is somebody outside of you. This is out of place. This energy is out of place. Okay? This energy is out of place. And it's sitting dead smack up under the ace of wands. That's what I'm saying. This is somebody around you. I'm here and wanting to get back. Look, somebody you rejected. Or somebody that rejected you in the past. And now they feeling that shit want to come back around because they rejected you. Because they feel the loss of you. This is for some. Look, yep, page of, page of Pentacles. Want to come back around and offer you something small. You know, a, a, a night out, dinner, and a movie, that type shit. Why? Because they rejected you. You try to offer this Ace of Cups to this person. They saw it, but they still had this Three of Cups in the background. They didn't accept it. They rejected it because it was a third party in the background. So they wasn't offering they wasn't accepting what you offered here and you went into hermit energy 
going inside yourself to find yourself like, why? Why did this happen? Why did they reject me? Why did they, they didn't want my offer? And you found out the reason why. Big ass sun energy right here. And this is, these, the sun is topping the, uh, the, uh, the judgment. Okay, this is a wake up call here, baby. Clarity. This is what you were seeking. That big arm stretched out to the heavens. Why? You know why? You've been told why? Finally. Okay? And you're okay with it. You cool. Now you know it wasn't you. It was them. <laughs> let's, let's keep this shit 100. You was wondering why this, why that, and you came to find out it wasn't you. It was them. And you had to close that cycle out. Dog, dog barks don't lie. Mm-mm. Uh-uh, let's get an advice. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, let's get an advice for Aries. No, I didn't like the way that came out. Mm -mm. No, we, we ain't doing that. I did not like how that flipped out like that. Oh, okay, because they said it wasn't supposed to come out. Okay, I heard you, because I'm like, uh-uh, what's that? I don't know, we don't do it like that, Holy Spirit. We don't be doing that. I mean, they do flip out like that, but uh-uh. The energy wasn't there for me to read that, so we ain't doing it. Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What is the advice for my Aries? Okay, I'll take it. It fell on my lap. It says, what do you need to release? See what I'm saying? It's making me feel like you need to release self-imposed self doubt, fears, this person even. It's making me feel like as though you have, but there is some type of residue that was left from being involved with this person that you still have to heal. This is why you're in a hermit energy. You're seeking answers here as to what you need to do as far as moving on, you know, closing out cycles, things of the sort, moving on, moving past heartbreak, hurt, and pain. You know what I mean? So you still have to still purge these energies, these feelings. You still have to work them out and work through them here and this is what you're doing with this hermit energy this virgo energy and that's beautiful that's beautiful aries keep doing that because that's how you'll get on the other side and this is where you'll get your sunshine and your clarity this is dead smack in your middle of your reading the sun and the judgment yeah now you understanding you're in the you're in the middle of understanding yourself you're in the middle of understanding people places things situations relationships, opportunities, you know, things of the sort. It's like the, the world around you is starting to become clear because you're starting to become clear of who you are in this world. You see what I'm saying? All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's get some more. Let's get a couple of more. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What else? Can you tell me what other advice do you have for my air? And I said two more and then I'm popping them on out. Go ahead with yourself. Communication is key. Keep praying. Keep talking to the Most High. Uh-huh. And expect powerful change. Keep praying. Keep talking to the Most High. Keep talking to your angels and spirit guys. Keep talking to people that are spiritual like you. Okay? Because you're in this hermit energy. So you're seeking answers. You're seeking the truth about yourself. You're seeking the truth about life, God, spirituality, everything. You're seeking. You're searching. You're learning. You're in a school of knowledge here. Keep going. Communication is key, baby. Okay? Keep speaking your truth. Okay, keep speaking out your feelings. Keep expressing yourself is what I'm hearing. And expect things to change for you. Expect powerful changes here, baby. This is making me feel as though there's powers beyond your control that is going to change things for you. That's that powerful change here. Okay, the magician. It's a change in energy here. This is your first energy out. Okay, this is also to the master of illusion. So be careful, okay? That's that, that's that manipulation energy that is attached to the magician energy, but it's in the upright and it's your first card out. So, and you see that infinity, infinity symbol. So yeah, this is, this is you it's in that manifestation energy. So yes, keep, keep, keep going. Keep, keep doing what you're doing, Aries, and things are going to change. Cycles is going to close out. Opportunities will come and you will be on a better path to your ascension and your truth and what you are now okay all right my loves this is what i have for you aries this is a beautiful reading so keep going keep moving keep manifesting keep doing what you do and you will see the change on the other side of that mountain that you're trying to climb okay baby all right this is what i have for you so till next time take care bye